Yo, what's up everyone, Akarni coming with you with a new video. It's been about 10 days since the Guilty Gear Strive patch has launched, and today we're going to go over Giovanna and all of the buffs that she got, as well as also all the new things in this guide. I'll be going over everything you need to know about Giovanna, neutral, advantage, disadvantage state, her new mix-ups, her new damage, all of it will be explained today in today's video. But before we do that, I would like to announce that I offer coaching on Metafy. Metafy is a coaching platform that helps you take fighting games to the next level. They have top level coaches all around the world for games like Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, Valorant, League of Legends, but also Guilty Gear Strive. If you are interested in booking a coaching session with me, click the first link in the description, which will direct you to a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. We will sit down in Discord and find the coaching program that is best suited for your needs. Now, without further ado, enjoy the guide. Alright, now we're in training mode, so I will be going over everything that's basically important in this patch for you to know, and then we're gonna go over all the new stuff, like the mix-ups and everything. Okay, so round start basically hasn't changed for Giovanna. The best round start options for Giovanna are still to use 2k, 6p, 5h, and 2d, and then you also have the dashing options of dash 5k and dash 2k. The reason why dash 5k and dash 2k are so important are because they're basically a 5h but even faster. 5h is 10 frames and it reaches the opponent at round start, 5k, if you do it perfectly, is 7, and you almost reach the opponent, which means if your opponent presses anything that is like less than frame 6 or something, so they're 2k themselves, uh, you will get hit, but other than that, everything else is fair game, everything else you will win against. That is why it is really, really strong. It also leads into a lot more mix-ups and positionings that 5, 5h wouldn't. So for example, let's set Ramlethal to force counter hit, okay? And I would do 5h. This is what I would get. I would get 146 damage, and I would basically have it in the corner. Which is really, really good if it counter hits, but other than that, if it wouldn't, I would basically get, like, nothing. I would get 77 damage, which is, like, barely half of it, and the positioning will be completely different. So now, let's do the same thing for 5k. If I do 5k, I get a 102 damage and a safe jump setup here, guaranteed. And this is not even including like an optimal setup. This is literally just with or without counter hit. You can get the same result here with or without, as you can see, just with a little bit less damage. So if I am aiming for the counter hit, I can actually get a 2D, which allows me to get like a full setup. So I can do this. There's 141 and it almost breaks the wall as well. So it is really, really good. So it's faster and it basically does the same damage on counter hit and allows you to get a safe jump if you do it properly. So there are a lot of things and benefits to this in particular, the same with 2k. So this is just something to keep in mind when it comes to round start. Neutral has actually not changed all too much, but neutral is a lot more rewarding this patch. What do I mean by that? If you hit anything in neutral now, whether it be on counter hit or regular hit, you can do more damage. So for example, if we take counter hit 5k, right? So 5k last patch, this was the optimal combo that you basically got on Giovanna which was 133 damage, it would push them to the corner. So now you can get something like this. Which is bare minimum 212 damage, and they wall break. Which is ridiculous. It's really, really strong. And in the corner, either you are cornered and you side switch, or you are the one cornering, it's very, very powerful now. So the damage has been increased tremendously mid-screen. If you, for example, you hit like a 2D, same deal applies, you can do this right here, you can break the wall, which you couldn't do before, right? So like, combos mid-screen have gotten tremendously better, and nothing has really changed in the neutral game itself. Nothing has really been nerfed for Giovanna, it's all just been buffs, honestly, just because of the way how the counter hits work now, and how you can get damage. You can also get resets off of them now if you want to, so you can get safe stream setups, all of that. So right here I can get like a different setup, right? So I don't have to break the wall. Which means right here what I could do is I could even go for a safe jump, which is 170 damage, and then you can set up for wall break. Also, another thing that's really, really good this patch for Giovanna is the combos basically always guarantee 50 meter. So you can always go for a super if you feel like it. Like literally right here you see I have like a little bit of meter put into it, but let's say we remove that, okay? Let's say we just remove that completely. Right here, after hitting this, I already have like 40% of a bar. Which is ridiculous. And you will never ever in Guilty Gear Strive only have zero bar. It will not happen. Like, if you just move around, you already build bar. Like right here, if I'm moving around even a little bit, like I'm dashing in and out, and then I do this... I already have the bar I need right here. You just 
win the safe jump exchange, super, and see the damage that I do with that. So Geo's damage has significantly increased and her meter gain has significantly increased, which are two of the most important things that she lacked. She couldn't get meter in any way, shape, or form, really, because she had to use them on mix-ups every single time. So meter penalty was awful. And the other thing that was really bad about her was her, like, meterless damage. She couldn't get any damage meterless. She could get, like, 190 to 200 damage, which in comparison to, like, Nagaryuki, Ramlafall, Happy Chaos, it was basically nothing. Because those characters literally got, got like, a countered 5k and did 300 damage meterless, then had Kalvados ready, then had whatever ready. So it was just completely unfair in comparison. Now I think it is actually fairer. For her, it's still not the best scenario, but it's definitely better than, than whatever we had previously. Okay, let's talk about her pressure. So her pressure has actually changed pretty tremendously. And the biggest reason why is because of this button. 2 one for s It has changed very, very heavily. And honestly, without without even talking about it much, I will just show you what it does. We're gonna set Ramblefall to 6p, correct? It can go over 6Ps now, or most normals in the game. A majority of normals now can literally be beaten by 2 one for s I am not kidding when I'm saying that. We can have positioning reset and have Ramlafall do bar slash, for example, so standing S. And as you can see, we can go over it now. We literally just went over far slash and close slash, which is something that wasn't possible before in the, in the later patches. So this is tremendous for a lot of ways. For one, it's a neutral skip now, so you can actually get something out of it. It is negative five. If you TK, it's negative three. But it's it's extremely good on pressure too, because as I said, you can just go even here and clash, or you win if you delay it. There are some six Ps in the game like Faust uh, or. Potemkin, they're still able to win against it, but against a lot of characters in the cast, especially the important matchups I've noticed, so like Ramlafull, etc., it is just completely possible to skip it and just not give a fuck and just be ignorant of it. Because even if this is spaced out wrong, you can still get something going with it, which is really, really good. So that is like one of the biggest things that have changed in pressure. Now let's talk about Giovanna's pressure in general uh, and what exactly is important to do. You still have to do the 2k pressure, so like for example you can't just like get 6 speed on everything. You have to do the 2k pressure, which is basically just instead of using 214k or 236k or any of that, you still have to go for 2k sometimes in order to catch them for pressing 6p. And the reason why, why that is really good is because it allows for different setups now this patch. Because if you catch them now, right, or something like that, you can get a whole setup now in return. Which you couldn't earlier, and that also builds like a bar. So, in this patch, it's it's very very good in order to set up regular pressure now, because now you just do 220 damage and you get Oki and you get everything and you get positive bonus. So setups like this have become tremendously better, which is why I still recommend using them. And for general pressure, obviously like frame traps are really good, really strong. So delaying buttons in order to catch your opponent. Um, but I have noticed. The pressure that is the best is literally with just K. K and P pressure are literally the best because they set up for one of the the best possible scenarios, which is counter hit 214K now or counter hit 5K and 2K. And I will show you why counter hit 214K is really, really strong now in comparison to the last patch. So the reason why this is important is because with K, for example, you can set up 214K pressure immediately or with P depending on the character. So, for example, 2K into 214K is an automated frame trap. So if my opponent right here, as you can see, 6 Ps, and you do this while they block, so this scenario, this is what you get now off of a singular 2 one for k which is 203 damage and it almost builds a full bar. So let's say for example, we just ignore this right and we get a little bit of bar here. That alone, this setup alone, is 300 damage. I think you're starting to understand why this character is really good this patch now, correct? <laughs> it's insanely good pressure combined with really good reward for it now. So throw isn't the strongest thing in the game anymore for her, it is now striking. So it basically has like balanced out of the way, which is good. 
But yeah, like pressure is still the same. Always try to like go for your plus frames. Try to reset with 2k every now and again during your pressure. So like during far slash, you do 2k if you can, you know, depending on if your opponent will mash or not. Or you try to do like other buttons or you try to go for froze, but you're plus. Right here is a punish. The list goes on and on. One of the things I forgot to mention in my last guide was that what do you want to do now after, for example, hitting a 236k? So 236k is actually pretty important. So if you are having Ramblefull, for example, crouch right here, and you do like a whole block string with 236k, what exactly are the buttons you would like to press the most? And in my, in my solution is basically even pressing 2k or dash 5k for the most part because it covers most options. And dash 5k in this patch especially is very, very valuable. Let's say for example, after, after getting hit, they will try to, or after blocking, they will try to back dash, right? If you do this now, you can see how much meter and damage you get off of this. So hitting like 236k scenarios with like 5k, 2k is very very important. So in this patch your goal is to do that or you can also do 2s. 2s is also very strong. Unfortunately 2s you have to dash in with. So like that in order for it to fully function. So you can get the full combo here. Uh, but you know. 5k is usually your best friend. 2k is also your best friend because you can get stuff like this set up still. So there are, there are ways to get everything set up, basically. But yeah, regular pressure, 215 is a lot better now. You're more than welcome to actually start using it more now for anything. And it, it is very, very helpful. I've actually liked it a lot. Now let's talk about defense. Defense has basically stayed the same besides system mechanics. So if you didn't know, Risk basically builds more meter now. So not FDing against Giovanna is more beneficial, but also for other characters. So let's say, for example, right here we do like a basic string, right? And you see how my tension goes up, correct? So now what I will do is I will put myself on max risk and you will see the difference. Do you see the tension difference? It is actually quite a bit, especially when you're getting closer to hitting a bar. It is very, very good now to get out. And I think Giovanna was one of the characters that needed the help for that system change very, very heavily. Uh, reason being, it's just incredibly hard to get out of pressure like Ramla Falls or Happy Chaoses or whatever if you don't have a DP. Like, having a DP is so crucial. So now you can YRC out, super out, which is basically working with similar tools. But another thing that I noticed about this is that if you are the one who is on defense now, it is a lot easier to get good scenarios for you to side swap this patch. So after block here, she will try to go for like a 5k. Now what you can do is you can do like a dash. And what that allows you to do is all of that. Because of the new 2-1 for S change and everything, you can just go straight ahead and actually just side swap opponents now, which is which is phenomenal. And you will get these scenarios one way or another. So as you can see right here, from that 2D I was able to side swap her into the corner. Obviously that didn't kill her or break the wall right? But it is very, very good in comparison to whatever you got last patch, which was basically just like like anything like that. You know, you, you would get like your 2D counter hit. You get like this at best. 140 damage. And then you would still have to do like anything about the safe jump. Now right here you get a complete safe jump or a mix up or whatever you really want if you do it properly. And you can do whatever. You can also keep them this side if you want to. You don't have to keep them on the wall. You can basically choose whatever. But how did I do that? And how can you do this too? This is where we're going to go in now. So I've explained the basics, how pressure works, how neutral works, how everything works in this patch. Now let's go over the actual changes for Giovanna and what you can do with them. This is going to be very important. Make sure to actually listen to this. I will only explain this one time. So... How 2 one for s works is tremendously important to how your combos will work. And that is also everything is timing based for these combos. Let me explain. If you go ahead and use 2 one for s immediately, which is right here, which basically means like it doesn't even work. 
they will go to the absolute highest height possible, but also go the furthest away from you. If you delay it a little bit, they will get as close as possible to you, but still be on an incredibly good height so you can do things like this, where it's a side swap, right? But if you delay it, you can get the same exact result. You have to very much delay it, but it is, it is very important. So why am I showing you this? And why does this have any merit whatsoever? Now, let me tell you this. It is really important because in certain combos, you won't just have the luxury of always going for close slash 2H214, close slash 2H, close slash 2H, whatever the fuck. You can't just get millions of those and have the privilege of doing that. This is literally an exclusive right to close slash as a whole, where you can do this and you can get like a combo. So what happens in other combos, for example, counter 5k, you have to basically stop it completely in order to get it. So let's say you hit the counter hit here, boom, boom. You have to do it late right here so everything connects properly. Same deal goes for other buttons. Let's say, for example, counter hit 6k combo. Right here, for example, I have to delay my 214S incredibly hard so I can get the 5k to still connect and everything to work. So how you time 214S is how you time everything. It is incredibly important. And I'm I'm telling you this now with the, like, the utmost importance. It is the most important thing. How you time 214S basically dictates how your combos will go, how your mix-ups will go, how everything regarding Giovanna will go now. That is why you need to learn the timings as best as possible. So, how can you actually abuse them? Well, what the 214S gives you now is mix-ups, as well as also guaranteed wall breaks. So you as an individual can basically choose what you want to do. So, we're gonna take two examples right here. One of them, I am going to get 50 meter and I'm going to wall break. In the other one, I will be getting 50 meter and I'll be going for a mix-up. I will show you both scenarios and you for yourself have to decide which one you want to go for in each scenario. These really depend on the health of your opponent, whatever the conditioning was beforehand, a bunch of other factors play into this. So let's start with the first one. So for scenario number one, what I will show you is I will do a close slash into a 5k counter hit in order just to set it up, right? So she blocks right here, counter hit, and I will try to side swap her. So in this case, I got 298 damage, right? Now, we're gonna go for scenario number two, which is going for a mix-up. This right here didn't do 300 right off rip, but it did 375 plus. It did actually did a little bit more, like 390 if we count like the chip damage and everything. So deciding on whether you want like to play it safe or to go for a mix-up has a drastic role now in damage. Look at Ramla Fall's health, bro. Look at her health. She's almost dead. Any interaction now could kill her. This is why this is now important. You have to make active decisions with Giovanna this patch and what you want to do. And also this mix that I showed you earlier is a four-way mix, five-way actually, and I will show you why. After this scenario, so after the safe jump scenario, you basically are presented with four options. Number one is to do an overhead into overhead, which you can then press super or whatever into. Number two, overhead into low. Also completely true, they can't do anything against us. Scenario number three. Mix up. Right here, that was left side. Okay? Mix up number two. This right here was right side. And in both of these, you're allowing yourself to get a full combo afterwards. And number five, which we can't really demonstrate now because she's mashing, throwing after JH. So every time on throw now, or on a safe jump, you have the possibility of getting a five-way mix-up. If you have the meter for it. If you don't have the meter for it, it will result in like, more like a 50-50 scenario where either you will go for a high, a low, 
like whatever, yeah, for all. But it is incredibly easy this patch to build meter, which is why this is important. Let me go on gauge setting zero. Let me literally set it to zero, okay? This is one of the mix-ups. This is one of the simple ones. I'm just saying. Look at the damage difference that you can do with it. There are possibilities for you to do this. And also, you can have some setups be burst safe in certain scenarios if you want them to. So, this is why 2-1 for S and the way the trajectory goes and the reason why the meta and everything is here is so, so important. Because it allows you to do whatever the fuck you want. And do not be fooled, some of these are actually burst safe on top of it, or super safe. So you can get away with it. You can completely get away with it, if you're careful enough. Uh, this isn't even scratching the surface of mix-ups. I think, honestly, I'll make a completely new guide on how to do all of her mix-ups, because otherwise we'll be sitting here for half an hour. But, I want you to understand the theory of this, and why this is so powerful. Getting new meter is really, really strong. Getting damage meterless is really, really strong. Mix-ups for this character now do the 2 one for s going over everything is incredibly powerful And you have better neutral setups now and you have better mid-screen damage now And you get more rewarded on defense now This character is incredibly good this patch now obviously you have to pull through with it, but in theory this character is incredibly strong That's basically it for this for this patch so far and for the guide I've showed you this and I hope this will actively help you if you want to see the mix-up guide and all the guides I'll be putting out, make sure to actually subscribe to my channel or watch me on Twitch where you will see it even earlier than on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I've given you the insight you needed. And without further ado, have a good one. Bye.